This hat is a very quintessential, pleasing Highland malt whiskey nose on it. Just lovely and malty, floral, a very nice character and richness to it. There aren't too many whiskey distilleries that are as affordable as this one when it comes to age statements. Today we're going to taste and review the Glen Farkless 21 year old. Now for those of you that are into the whiskey journey very deep, no doubt you have heard of Glen Farkless and uh, it's a Highland malt and uh, as per mentioned at the beginning this is a 21 year old age expression and it comes in at 43% ABV no mention of chill filtering but on the back label it says natural color intense full of aromas fruit nuts citrus and a vanilla smokiness smooth long lasting so looks to be natural colored but probably chill filtered now uh glenn farkless as i as i've suggested into the 30 and 40 year old uh, age statement whiskies um, is probably the most affordable that you'll find uh, very much a credit to the glenn farkless distillery who absolutely price whiskey for whiskey drinkers and uh, it's greatly appreciated Glen Farkless bottles are very similar. They all seem to have that typical uh, brown bottle with the same kind of label, um, very sort of traditional uh, style. They haven't really changed the look and feel. It's kind of, uh, I think it has its ups and downs. It has a niceness in the sense of the tradition of it all, um, but it does look a little bit dated. Let's pour a dram now of the Glen Farkless 21 and begin with the nosing. Lovely colour. What a beautiful colour. It's a very nice golden straw colour. Beautiful golden colour. Okay. Straight away, honey, a beautiful maltiness coming off. The vanilla is there. A lovely floral note, very fragrant, almost like, almost like jasmine flowers to me or the, um, like an orange blossom. It's very fragrant. A gorgeous, Golden color met with a, a golden maltiness on the nose. This has a very quintessential, pleasing Highland malt whiskey nose on it. Just lovely and malty, floral, a very nice character and richness to it. Very appealing. Think like a beautiful summer's day breeze flowing through a field of flowers, the sun is shining. This would make a lovely picnic dram. It's very pleasant. Okay, let's try now on the palette and see what, what I can detect and uncover. Mm-hmm. lovely a very nice light maltiness then you get the oak coming through at the back of the palate followed by a little bit of a, a bite a little bit of sharpness 
then it dries out towards the finish and leaves you with a, a medium finish with a lot of the maltiness lingering. Absolutely can tell that it is a, a very nice high quality whiskey. You can tell the difference. Let's try one more time on the nose and see if any new scents have opened up in the glass. It's like a, a creaminess, you know, like a like if you're mashing banana that's a little bit overripe to perhaps make banana bread. I'm not getting a great deal of sherry influence, but Glen Farkless is known to be a sherried whiskey, so uh, more of the vanilla tones, not a lot of the dried fruit. Let's try now on the finish and see how the whiskey has changed. This is a good, solid, dependable single malt whiskey. There's no two ways about it. And I'd be hard pressed to find anyone that would argue otherwise. It's malty. It's got this beautiful vanilla note. There's the, the little bit of that dryness, the tannic, the bite, um, oakiness. It's just a great example of nice quality whiskey made from a good quality barley and matured very well. And at only 43% ABV, it still presents with a nice mouthfeel. It's not too thinned out or, or too watery. The finish is medium. The, the dryness is what sort of lingers, um, but that's very pleasing, you know, especially depending on what what appeals to your palate by no means is it is it off-putting at all uh, a lovely whiskey i um i would recommend the glen farkless 21 because it is so well priced for a 21 year old whiskey typically in australia you can pick up a bottle of this for around 200 dollars aud which is great compared to uh you know some some 18 year olds cost more than that in this country and some 15 year olds are getting closer to that as well. So um, if you're looking for a whiskey with a little bit of a higher age statement or you'd like to try something with a little more maturity to it, I would absolutely recommend turning to the Glen Farkless 21. Uh, it's, it's a lovely whiskey, a lovely, lovely whiskey. Thank you guys for being here. Please make sure to leave a like on the video and if you like this kind of content and you're into uh, single malt whiskies in particular like I am, please subscribe to the channel and um, until the next video, make sure that you enjoy your whiskey responsibly and uh, share with loved ones.